Okay, let's get started. Hey home freaks, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. If this is the first time here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get notification every single time that I post a video and I post every single week. As you can see from the title on today's video, I'm going to be giving you my first reaction to the official trailer of Texas Chainsaw Massacre that is coming on Netflix this month on February 18. Now, I did a reaction to the first teaser that was maybe like a month ago, maybe a little bit longer, I don't remember. If you want to watch that also i'm going to be leaving it here and on the description box down below basically this movie is going to be a direct sequel to the original of 1974. this one is supposed to be set 15 years after so um i don't know how to feel about this i have seen i haven't seen the trailer but i have seen some pictures and even some memes about it so I don't know how to feel about those movies, but so let me watch the trailer first so that I can have my full opinion on it. I have it right here on my computer and let's watch this. It's a ghost town. We have a vision for this place. All it needs is young blood. I don't want to live here. This is a chance for people to start fresh somewhere. Somewhere safe. Hey, guys. You should see this. What are you doing in our house? You really shouldn't be here. This is hardest to hear. Dolly, I'm afraid your old friend's back. Fifty I years I've been waiting so for this night. Sad. Just to see him again. Who? Leatherface. Did Leather's throat change it roles? Like it's you that he wants. I'm not gonna let him kill you. Fear no evil, fear no evil. <laughs> Try anything you cancel, bro. What does this feels like a bad copy of Halloween of 2018 and Scream 5? So, of course, Sally is back, but not with the same actress because she died. So, of course, but we have the character. Definitely, I'm gonna miss having the original girl. Um, I don't know, feels a little bit on the cliche side, just like when on the trailer of Screen Bun Sydney, she like turns around the camera and Dewey's telling her that Ghostface is back, like he's back, and she's like, oh. So here's like trying to do the same effect, just like, like I said, Lori Strode, like they're trying to make her as Lori, like on the same vibe, but it's not the same because the main difference here is that Lori has been chased by Michael all of her life, for well, most of it, while she hasn't. Like she's basically on the first films and that's it. So trying to make her as she I don't know, it doesn't really fit and I don't know, but something about this it doesn't give me like the impression that it's going to be I don't want to say that it's going to be bad but definitely I like it the first teaser trailer a little bit more 
look way more scarier and creepier. It doesn't really bother me the fact that the Leatherface mask has changed. I mean, he's old. Like, he is supposed to be really old and he's human at the end. He is one of the fewest slashers that it's 100% human and he's not like Michael that no matter what he's going to come back. Like, we, he, we have a leather face having to face the fact that he's old and fat. But the mask, like I said, it doesn't really bother me. Um, has a little bit of blood, nothing new. I mean, he's kind of always with some blood on it. But like I said, um, the house has changed. Like it's not the same with Scream that they brought back Stu's house. Like they actually created on a set. I watched that on the behind the scenes. They created on a set and they didn't use the same house, but still. And the fact that we kind of saw the same house of the Myers on Halloween and Halloween Kills, but here the house changed. I don't know, sometimes changes are good, but in these cases, when you're trying to do a direct sequel and trying to revive a franchise, that at the end is the whole point of this. I think that this one is not going to be as successful as Halloween and Scream because, of course, what they're doing is bringing back the franchise with old stuff, but also with new stuff. Like, like it's a recall, like Scream said. But I don't know why when it comes to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it's not working. Like, Texas Chainsaw Massacre has been trying to make a comeback for a long time. We have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 2013 that it's it's bad. It's really bad. We have the Leatherface that is even worse. And they were supposed to be five more related to that. But since they had some troubles with the persons that were involved, this one was going to be part from that one so now we have another kind of storyline if you want to call it i need to check after this how the storyline of the franchise is going to be completed once this one is out i'm going to be doing a video about the storyline and a ranking i saw that you guys like the rankings so definitely once this one is out i'm going to be doing the ranking and checking how the storyline is going to look now that this one is on so, of course, I'm going to be watching it. Of course, I'm going to be reviewing it. But I don't feel as excited for this one. I don't want to put it also on the fact that maybe Texas Chainsaw Massacre is not my favorite franchise. Although, yes, I know that I have the poster because I really like the poster. But, I don't know. Uh, I really like slashers. So, of course, I can feel excited for this. Um, I don't want to blame Netflix on it because they basically, they just been the person that is going to bring it. They didn't make it. So, we can say that Netflix did it. It's the same with First Street. But we're gonna have a new Leatherface movie. Of course, this is basically the year of the comebacks of these classics. But I have something is telling me that this one is not going to be on the same success train as the others has been because Chucky, it was a huge success. Like that series was amazing. Like I said, Halloween, not many people like it, Halloween kills, but it's still, it was successful in Halloween of 2018 and look, all the success that Scream has had in the short time that has been on movie theaters. So, uh, I'm not going to, I'm, I just know that I can't wait for this one. But yeah, I want to watch it. But something, it's off about it. Like, I am not as excited as with the others. But yeah, I'm going to be watching it, that's obvious. And well, this is all for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Do you feel... I definitely now I understand the memes that they were making. And also I saw someone saying that it was giving Harold vibes. Um, Leatherface on the field. The same as Harold from A Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. That came out a few years ago. Um, if you don't understand the reference, I'm going to be putting a picture right here of the character. It's a scarecrow. So, but definitely I understand the memes. And while kind of making fun of the movie because it's kind of hilarious well texas chainsaw massacre is kind of is has the vibe of being funny i mean like the first one so let's see how they bring this up well this is all for a video let me know what you think and i'm going to see you guys on the next one bye